hi everyone and welcome to my channel today i'm going to be reviewing the oppo f21 pro this is a mid-range smartphone from oppo it has a lot of great features including a stylish design a powerful processor and a great camera make sure to stay a uh, video till the end of the video because at the end of the video i'll be answering some of the questions that you guys have been asking me uh, let's now go back to the business uh, the Oppo F21 Pro is really cool and has a sleek and stylish design that will turn heads. The back of the phone is made of plastic material that is available in black, blue, gold and red. The colors has a gradient finish that looks really cool in the light. On the display, the phone has a 6.43 inch AMOLED screen with a 90 has refreshed it. On the processor, the Oppo F21 Pro is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 778 5G 6 nanometer processor and runs on Android 11. This is a mid range processor that is capable of handling tasks without any problem. I found out that uh, the, the phone has a smooth and responsive when using it for everyday tasks like browsing the web, checking social media, and taking photos. On the camera, the Oppo F21 Pro has a triple lens rear camera system. The main camera is a 64 megapixel and there is also an 8 megapixel ultra wide camera and a 2 megapixel macro sensor. The front facing camera is a 32 mega pixel it was really impressed with the quality of the photos that i took with the oppo f21 pro the colors were vibrant and the details were sharp on the battery the phone has a 4500 mah battery this is a large battery that will easily last you a full day on a single charge I found that I could get around 7 hours of screen on time with the phone. The gadget has a battery charging of 60 watts. On the software, the Oppo F21 Pro runs on Android 11. The Oppo Color OS 11.1 skin on top. The Color OS is a pretty user-friendly skin and I didn't have any problem using it. On the storage, the phone has 8 GB of RAM and 256 GB of internal storage, which is pretty good to store even large files. The phone also has a 3.5 mm jack, a USB Type-C 3.1 and a fingerprint sensor which is under the display and optical. Overall, I think the Oppo F21 Pro is a great mid-range smartphone. It has a stylish design and a powerful processor and a great camera and a long lasting battery. If you are looking for a good phone in this price range, I would definitely recommend the Oppo F21 Pro. Please subscribe to my channel and big up to all those who have showed their support by subscribing commenting and liking my videos. I'll be sampling some of your comments and the first comment that I came across was a question that uh, said, I want to know about if I buy a phone while I'm outside the country, is there a possibility for the phone not to operate when I'm in the country? Please elaborate about that kindly. Different cell phones and networks in different countries support different frequencies, bands, and standards. You have to get the combination right for it to work. Nowadays, most phones support a large range of frequencies and networks in most of the world have settled on the GSM family of standards, that is GSM, UMTS, H, H+, LTE, and many more so, so it's likely that things would work in many cases but you still should check before relying on using a phone elsewhere the main issue is europe 
Asian and African networks using different frequencies bands to most of the American phones may support a few overlapping bands but not necessarily or generally more expensive phones are more capable but the cheapest phone uh, will be much more limited. The second quiz is which phone is better for YouTube videos as a beginner? There are many great phones that are perfect for making YouTube videos as a beginner. Here are a few of the top picks. Uh, the first phone is the Apple iPhone 14 Pro. This phone has a powerful A16 Bionic chip, a versatile triple lens rear camera system, and a bright and sharp Super Retina XDR display. It is also water resistant and dust proof, so you can take it with you on the go without worrying about damaging it. The second phone is the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. This phone has a massive 6.8 inch AMOLED display with a powerful Snapdragon 8 generation 2 uh, chip and a quad lens rear camera system. It also supports 8K video recording so you can capture stunning footage on your adventures. Another phone that you can consider is the Google Pixel 7 Pro. This phone has a unique design, a powerful tensor chip and a versatile triple lens rear camera system. It also has a number of AI powered features that can help you take better photos and videos. Another phone that you can consider is the Sony Xperia 1.4. This phone has a 4K OLED display, a powerful Snapdragon 8 generation 2 chip and a versatile triple lens rear camera system. It also supports eye tracking, out of focus, which can help you keep your subject in focus even when they are moving around. These are just few of the many great phones that are perfect for making YouTube videos as a beginner. When choosing a phone, it's important to consider your budget, your needs, your preference. With so many great options available, you are sure to find the perfect phone for your YouTube journey. Here are some additional factors that you can consider when choosing a phone for YouTube videos. The first is the camera. The most important factor to consider is the camera. Make sure the phone has a good quality rear camera with multiple lenses and features like optical image stabilization and portrait mode. On the display, the display is also important especially if you plan on editing your videos on the phone, make sure the display is bright and sharp with high resolution. On the battery, battery life is important if you plan on recording long videos. Make sure the phone has a long lasting battery that can easily last you for a full day of use. Another thing is the storage. Make sure the phone has enough storage for your videos and other files you may also want to consider in getting a memory card if you need more storage space another thing to consider is the price consider your budget when choosing a phone for youtube videos there are many great options available for at different price points the next question that i am going to focus on is why do most smartphones vary in specs yet they are the same model? Phone manufacturers may release different versions of the same model for different regions. This is because different regions have different needs and preferences. For example, a smartphone model released in China may have different cellular bands than a model released in United States. The carrier variant the smartphone manufacturer may also release different versions of the same model for different carriers. This is because carriers often have different requirements for the phone they sell. For example, a carrier variant of a smartphone may have different software features or different cellular bands than non-carrier variant. Limited edition models, smartphone manufacturers may also release limited edition models for their phones. These models often have 
unique features or designs that are not available on the standard model. For example, a limited edition smartphone may have a different color scheme or different type of camera. On the software updates, smartphone manufacturers may release software updates that improve the performance or features of their phones. This, this update may also change the phone specs. For example, a software update may add a new camera features or improve the phone battery. Ultimately, the variation in smartphone specs for the same model is as a result of number of factors including uh, regional difference, carrier variant, limited edition models, and software updates. This variance gives consumers a choice of phone that meet their individual needs and preferences. That's all for today. Thanks for watching my video. If you have any question, please feel free to leave a comment below and be sure to subscribe to my channel for more reviews of the latest smartphone. See you in my next video. Bye.